welcome to meki teki i would like to thank my family i would like to thank my mentor professor r surendran from government college of technology coimbatore and i would like to thank almighty for my technical knowledge as well as day to day activities today's topic is clutch okay what is meant by a clutch it is a it is a mechanical device it is it is like a coupling as the last video i have discussed like that it is like a coupling which is used to connect and disconnect drive instantaneously okay so where we are using is engine power to drive wheel so between the engine and the gear box clutches are used clutches clutch is a mechanism used to connect and disconnect the engine power to the driving wheel as per the load as well as road road and load conditions the function of clutch is smooth engagement and disengagement to the gear when the vehicle is stationary and running to transmit engine power to the driving wheel without jerk so these are all the f- important functions of clutch okay let me discuss about the four terms four or five terms uh, displacement velocity acceleration as well as jerk okay the uh, s is the displacement let s is the displacement what is the velocity so change in displacement with respect to time that is ds by dt okay what is meant by an acceleration change in velocity with respect to time is the acceleration dv by dt whereas jerk is the change in acceleration with respect to time or we can say it as a uh, d cube s yes, divided by dt cube okay and last thing the vibration vibration means change in der- jerk with respect to time uh, so that is called as a vibration so in this the function is going to continue the function of clutch it permit change of gear when the vehicle is in motion okay it is it, it can be permitted and it permit to stop vehicle without cut off the engine without switching off the engine we can uh, anywhere we can stop the vehicle as well as we can move the vehicle with the different speeds and different load conditions different torques all the things can be done by means of clutch and gear boxes gear box will do the torque multiplication or a torque uh, separation all those thing gearbox will do what the clutch function is it can smoothly engage and disengage as per the load under road condition requirement okay now it is an important thing types of clutches now we have a uh, two types of clutches one is a positive clutch and another one is a friction clutch positive clutch we never use it we never seen day by day to day life uh, because it is uh, used in very 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 old industrial applications like rolling mills power presses saw mills like that uh, the positive clutch the type of the positive clutch is a jaw clutch okay so it it is used in rolling mills power presses and saw mills uh, let us discuss about positive clutch first and and i will come after the friction clutch so the positive clutch sudden engagement can be done slow and the change of gear slow and the change of gears are not possible it is not smooth it is a positive engagement therefore no slip it can jerks cannot be avoided uh, at the high speeds and also the loading and unloading Uh, we should cut off the engine then only the jaw clutches will connect the next gears or next uh, conditions whereas in a friction clutches friction material like asbestos is used as a friction lining material and by means of a friction it can transmit the power from driving to driven shafts so uh, friction clutches or the automobile clutches is the single plate clutch is the subdivision from the plate clutch we have a single plate and multi plate clutches and uh, other type of clutches are cone clutch uh, centrifugal clutches are there here smooth engagement is possible 
and gradual engagement is also possible great and high speed connection is possible high speed connection is possible there is no jerk there is a slip the important thing in the friction clutch there is a slip once the friction material is worn out the slip come into play generally the clutches are designed as per 1.5 times uh, the torque multiplication capacity so th th this is an important point once the clutches will get worn out uh, the thing slip will come into picture and torsion springs are there to avoid jerk no slip in the cone clutch okay very very important thing uh, in the friction clutches in cone clutch there is no slip okay next the design of the plate or design of the clutch here so once the clutch we can say a uh, torque is an important parameter torque t is equal to p into r mean where p is the intensity of pressure r is the mean radius for finding mean radius we have a uh, two different types of theories one is a uniform pressure theory and another one is a uniform wear theory uniform pressure theory is for new clutches here high frictional torque come into picture whereas uniform wear theory old clutch and the uh, uniform wear theory is for the safest theory here we are going to use the notations like w as an axial thrust r1 as an external radius r2 as an internal radius mu is the coefficient of friction and n is the number of clutch for the uh, single plate clutch we have a n number of clutch is 2 for multiplet clutch n is equal to n1 plus n2 minus 1 suppose i have a multiplet clutch the number of contact point i want to find means if the driving plate having 6 and driven plate having 5 means n1 is 6 and n2 is 5 therefore uh, 6 plus 5 minus 1 that is equal to 10 is the number of contact point for the multiplet clutch here I would like to share uniform pressure theory. The uniform pressure theory, as I said earlier, it is for the new clutches. Okay, high frictional torque is coming to picture. Here, the pressure, the intensity of pressure, P is equal to W divided by pi into R1 square minus R2 square. As we know that pressure is nothing uh, pressure is equal to load by area here the same thing is coming to picture the frictional torque t is equal to n mu w into capital r for r we have a two formulas one is r is equal to 1 by 3 capital d cube minus small uh, d1 cube minus d2 cube divided by d1 square minus d2 square whereas the another formula capital R is equal to 2 by 3 R1 cube minus R2 cube divided by R1 square minus R2 square. The uniform wear theory it is for old clutches and it is low frictional torque here and this is for the safest design. Here also we have a, a relation that is PR is equal to constant that is pressure into radius is equal to constant that means P is inversely proportional to radius therefore whenever the radius is increasing your pressure will become reducing when the pressure increases radius will become decreases so this is the thing whereas uniform pressure theory the pressure is equal to constant there is no radius coming to picture here the torque torque T is equal to n mu w into r the mean radius of r is equal to R1, my R1 plus R2 divided by 2 or we can say it as a D1 plus D2 divided by 2. Okay, here we have an important points. So we have a note for the maximum intensity of pressure P max is equal to C by R2. The minimum intensity of pressure P minimum is equal to C1 by R1. As I said earlier, when the radius increases, pressure will become reduces. Therefore, the minimum pressure is in outermost part and the maximum pressure is in innermost part. Please make a note. Therefore, the average pressure is the total force or a frictional surface. Total force on the frictional surface divided by 
cross sectional area of the frictional surface that is equal to p average is equal to w divided by pi into r1 square minus r2 square so for the multiplet clutch or disc clutch it is the application of multiplet clutch is very very simple it is for the more torque can be transmitted smaller in size used in motor cars machine tools and scooters here number of contact pairs is the very very important condition in the multiplet clutch that is n is equal to n1 plus n2 minus 1 where n1 is the number of disc on driving shaft n2 is the number of disc on driven shaft whereas torque t is equal to n mu w r thank you thank you for watching i will uh, i would like to thank all my viewers as well as subscribers for the continuous support if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment box i will answer with this next video thank you once again thank you for almighty as well as thank my mentor professor r surendran thank you